okay so let's start the simulation of this project this is the signal generator part by this circuit we will generate the signals of different frequency range and we will measure it by Arduino and display it display the frequency on LCD screen okay this is the triple five timer IC and the pin number one is grounded pin number two is connected to a two-way switch of which first end is connected to C1 electrolytic capacitor of 1 microfarad range and second end is connected to C2 of 100 nanofarad C1 is used for measuring the frequency range for 480 Hz to 48 kilohertz, and C2 is used for measuring the frequency range of 50 Hz to 4.8 kilohertz. Okay, and pin number third will be connected to the pin number 8 of Arduino. It will pin number 8 will behave like an input pin of which the signal frequency is measured pin number 7 4 and 6 are connected to two potentiometers which will vary the frequency of the signal generated let's add an LCD to display the results pin number 4 to D4, pin number 5 to D5, pin number 6 to D6 and pin number 7 to D7 ok make RW ground and VSS and VEE high okay now let's jump on to the code this is the library for the LCD screen liquid crystal dot H this is the object declaration of LCD this is the pin number of Arduino which will behave as an input pin and these are the variables pulse high pulse low pulse total and frequency pulse high is used to store integer variable to capture high time of the incoming pulse pulse low is used to store the integer variable to capture low time of the incoming pulse pulse total is used to store float variable to capture total time of the incoming pulse and frequency is the calculated frequency void setup function and this is the pin mode of input pin pulse pin this is the initialization of LCD this is the void loop part and this is the main logic to calculate the frequency this is the calculation let's compile it it will take some time to compile
okay so it is compiled let's paste the hex file here and start the simulation okay it's working good see it is giving some values see You can see now we'll switch the circuit. Here see it is calculating the frequency of the signal properly. It is a good way and cheap way to measure the frequency of a signal instead of buying expensive oscilloscopes okay so it is working fine